guys, I'm Yusra binti Mak Mazawi. In this video, I will be explaining about lab test for pneumatic and hydraulic. For question number one, will the simulation circuit in figure two works as intended? If not, indicates two inaccuracies on the circuits. The answer is, the simulation circuit is not work as intended. This is because um, the circuit has two open connections. An open circuit cannot run as the system may not work. Uh, hence, the system is not complete with their label and parameters. The electrical power supply is failed because the piston rod maintained at retracted position and not turning back, which is, is not completely advancing and the circuit needs to be pressed the push button first. Usually, a complete working circuit will automatically connect the electric circuit to the pneumatic circuit when you press the push button. For question 2, I have designed the correct control circuit in FluxSim. Firstly, I have changed the terminator. Next, I have added spring return at right actuation. Next, I have set up the cylinder parameters. And then, I have uh, changed the actuating level from begin to end. And then, I have decided to put the label for valve solenoid. and add K1 label for push button MAC and then for MAC switch I have changed the triggered by switch with roll and label it as 1S2 for one way control valve I have set the opening level by 2% then run the circuit by press switch button and see the cylinder velocity and then the data from the simulation is recorded at the answer sheet. The cylinder extending speed is 0.07 meter per second. Okay, so basically uh, the circuit is working automatically when the push button uh, for electric circuit is pressed. And then the pneumatic circuit is... Um, automatically working and after reaching at the advanced end position the cylinder the piston will turn to its original position